that you and I, as the Masonic Illuminati, sees us as mindless apes bowing and worshipping their demonic black obelisk of Masonic wisdom and Luciferian light. Their cube, so they think, that's going to spark and create this new world order, this Luciferian Antichrist system that's about to come upon the entire world. all symbolized by events taking place in our day and age. 9-11. That was one of their events. The Hilton Hotel. You can see it in the movie 2001 A Space Odyssey. Blatantly, just there it is, put there in the Hilton Hotel in space they both check their watches. So they're telling you a little time story right there. How this is all dealing with time. And remember now, the original script was dealing with Saturn, not Jupiter. And Saturn deals with time. When you look at the original Millennium Hotel that was built in front of the Twin Towers, it's an obelisk. They intentionally built it to look like the obelisk in 2001, and they even say so. In the original script, of course, it's a cube that they changed. The logo of the Hilton Hotel is two twin towers within the all-seeing eye. It also is a pause button. A pause button stops time. It freezes time. It's also a six, which is a nine. It's six, 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 and it's all in the movie. When you look at another one of their hotels, it, it shows like a split down the middle representing like 9-11 twin towers falling over. There are five pillars on each side and it's split down the middle and that's for the center column in all of the designs of Freemasonry. It's all there represented the monolith Hilton Hotel, representing the monolith. They even said that that's what it represents, officially. And there, it's, there it stood in the middle, and it still stands to this day. The monolith, the center invisible pillar cube that survived the disaster. Well, now, I found this footage on YouTube. It was shot by somebody else. And what I found interesting is he shot it from the Hilton Millennium Hotel that's built in the shape of the monolith from 2001. Still standing to this day and he's shooting outside of the window looking at the two memorials for the Twin Towers and the Freedom Building and some other buildings. I mean, don't you find it strange that this thing survived? I mean, they really planned this out pretty well. They made only what they wanted to to come down. The perfect demolition, but that's how they did it. Intentionally making sure that this monolith cube represents their Illuminati wisdom, 
which is the that small center. If you look at Masonic pictures of the two columns, you'll see in the middle there's this, you know, there it is, this little smaller column or cube or monolith or obelisk right there. And this is how they brought it in. The Freedom Tower represents this wisdom, this new world order that they want to bring upon all of us. I've read it's supposedly supposed to be uh, 1,776 feet tall. Now, I don't know if that's true. I don't know how to confirm that, but looking on the internet, this is what I've read, this is what I've seen. Now, if that is the case, they are most definitely not referring to America's birth of 1776, but to the Illuminati's birth of 1776, because that's who they are, and that's who did this. And also, in the same video, look at um, these memorials to the two towers. The two twin towers here. Look, look at those things. They're, they're square holes in the ground. There you got water falls running on the sides, and in the center is a, like a black, uh, another black hole, cube, square, black pit. And it's all just going down and down and down, then it goes into that square pit hole. What kind of memorial is that? They're sending people into the abyss and also at the same time symbolically representing that they've opened a hole to the abyss. I believe if you go to these places, they, I'm sure it just sucks energy like a vampire from, from people's hearts and souls and minds. I'm sure it leaves you with a dead feeling inside. These memorials aren't, they aren't normal. They're not right. This is evil stuff. There you go. The Freedom Tower. <laughs> oh man. It's so obvious what's going on. Very disgusting and evil what these people are doing. Or what these entities are doing rather. Because I think the people are just pawns in the hands of these entities that are returning.